All right, what is it? It's the afternoon. Good afternoon! All right, we're in the garage gym. I have Reese. Reese Dead, is my buddy. Deadlift day. Deadlift day. And we are going to go over here and look at what we're doing. We just kind of made this up real quick. Basically, we're doing seven sets of deadlifts. One deficit, one conventional, one snatch with chains. Never done snatch with snatch, snatch, snatch grip deadlift with chains. Have you? No, never done snatch or snatch grip with chains. All right. Actually, you wanna you wanna do your sumos, right? You wanna you wanted to max out on sumo, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna he's gonna PR on sumo today, and I got my workout drinks over here. If you guys didn't know, I actually do use the crap on this shelf. It is not just for product placement. So here's one workout drink. It's this with this. Here's another one. It's just protein powder. Here's another one. All right. This is um, just, yeah, the coffee maker doesn't work because I lost power on this side of the gym. And uh, of course, just a little bit of liquor because actually it looks funny sitting there next to the others. All right, let's get to working out. He's going to start backwards in a workout. So he's going in the other direction. I'm starting with the, yeah, so we're just going to be doing the workout backwards. Do you remember this? Yeah, I remember those. Fun clips. Use it. Yeah! Give me five! Oh yeah, that's awesome. You think we could deadlift on the same platform at the same time? Uh... How do you like this training method? <laughs> How to stay upright on your sumo deadlift? Have another guy's face so close in front of you that you're motivated to sit upright. Good thing nobody smells bad. Yeah, not yeah. yet. Not well, yet. I, well, I smell bad, but I don't know why. But I feel like I've coached the sumo deadlift more in this gym than any other lift. Also, I find it's a really easy lift to teach for some reason. I don't know why. It's just whatever advice you give someone on this lift, it just seems to work. All right, that's good. So spread your spread your legs. <laughs> spread your legs. Looks good to me. Does it feel okay? But well, this way it does, but yeah. We'll see when it gets heavier. Remember like a toes pointed forward? I would imagine that's better for a close stance. This look like Ed Cone. This is almost like a squat stance. His feet really aren't splayed that much. Wider you go, the more often you have a tendency to do that. But anyway, the whole purpose of this lift is just to kind of like figure out a way to do it where your range of motion feels stupidly little. Almost like almost like it's you know what I mean? Like there's almost nothing there. If you can figure out how to make it feel like that, you're usually on the right track. Almost feels like a... Feels stupid. I mean, when you're doing it right, it feels stupid. <laughs> a lot of times in coaching people, uh, other people will comment like, oh, you should have told them this, you should have told them that. I feel like you're doing everything good. It's just, you know, most of the time people just need to be told, like, just keep doing that. You know, if you confuse people too much with too much stuff, or it's just like you start to nitpick at technical things that just don't really fucking matter. It just confuses them more than anything. You can't be aggressive and confused at the same time, man. I have so. been confused quite a bit when I'm when yeah. I'm lifting, so. It looks good. I mean, it, it nice. looks fucking great. I just think you just need a, uh, you could go up and use an ammonia inhaler and just rip the shit out of it, yeah? yeah? Definitely. All right. I've like picked seven different deadlift exercises pretty much, uh, except for one of them is done twice. And uh, I really just want to do snatch grip deadlifts with chains. So that's kind of like, the, that's the thing I'm looking forward to most. You, you want to you wanna break a PR in sumo. So and we'll be able to change. That's not the right way to put chains on. I forgot what your max was again. Um, sumo, 315, conventional, 405. All right, so your 315 is, yeah. This this bar is perfect for the way you're lifting too. It's just, the sumo deadlifting bar is just so nice to your shins. Yeah, but we're at 245 right now. So, yeah. is 134 kilograms wow what kind of guy spent two hours making his own graph bye that's too easy yeah quick quick 
Good. Three. Down. Three. Pack your chin. That's enough. What the fuck? Okay, Zam wrapping. What's up, Max? <laughs> Six reps of 295 and your max is 315. Yeah. All right. Same time. Both at the same time. And then a cherry on top. <coughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. You set him back down all nice. Might still be some in there. That's one of my favorite things is watching which guests Ooh. set the ammonia inhalants down. And which ones throw them down. It says a lot about the person. You know a lot about a person just seeing how they set their ammonia inhalants down. I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman and a warrior. <laughs> Rip it! Felt like I had seven or eight in the tank. You might have. <laughs> There's only one catch of this workout, man. You only get you only get to do sumo deadlift one more set. What? You're restricted. You can't just yeah. You can't just do it. That's it. So imagine if you're working out, it's like you can only do this many sets. All right, go big or go home. I yeah. guess. So you got one more set. That's all you get. You did, you did 4.05 for two. Damn, I should have took that on my phone until I had it. Shit. I can give it to you. This oh, is good. Yeah. Ground conversions are at the bottom of the screen. This is 335 pounds with 69 pounds of chain. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Okay, I gotta get past the weirdness of this. You got it. Just keep the momentum. Keep the pace. Keep the pace. Just keep going. Good. Since I'm doing this workout backwards and you're doing this workout backwards, now we're, uh, now it's my turn to do this. I love hate relationship with Hooker. Two. Time for a little product placement. My worst selling supplement on acrobolics.com. Acrolyte. My worst selling supplement. But I still take it. Because, you wanna see the reason I take this? Because I haven't dumped water in my head this workout. That's why I need electrolytes, because you fucking lose them. Yeah. First time he pulls snatch grip, he pulls it with chains. That's like that. 
Pull your shoulders back to the top real hard. Boom. Perfect. Yes. I want, I want 10. Take away all the excuses. Take away, take away every little, I got every advantage now except for a belt, but that's because I don't know how to use a belt. You have a built-in belt. You got it, my belt. His max, once or twice, he's gonna to try to PR. And I'm on my last set of sumo, I just did four, four, I've done 10, 10 reps of every set, of a seven set deadlift workout. So my goal is to do or die 10 reps on every set. Your goal is to pull your max twice. <laughs> because that would be a PR, right? Yeah. I mean, technically, yeah, if you could pull your PR, you pull your max twice, then that's a PR. Yeah, rep PR. All right, rep. Yes! One more, one more, one more, one more, one more! Come on, pull, pull, pull! Yeah! That's the PR, man! Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, because you just doubled your, your PR. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna crisp up in this set. Oh! Spinal Bob! Seven sets of tail on deadlift of fucking weird tights. Is it a PR? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. Don't yeah. get greedy. There. That was a good workout. Thank you. Yeah, PRs all over the board. It was it was pretty great. It was. It was yeah. good. Yeah. I was motivated to do 10 on everything when I got a few sets of 10. I was like, you know, I'm going to 10, 10 this workout. Yeah, un unlimited volume for Juji, and I was <laughs> able to PR. So win, 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 win. Win, win. You know what we need to do now? Mail time. That's right. It's going to be upside down time. It's upside down mail time! Woo! All right, what do we got? Okay. And a uh, saw. Yes, sir. Oh, candy bars. Oh, they're pre-workout bars. Uh, we appreciate it if you check out our Insta page at links underscore bar. We're a small company and we make candy. They pre-workout bars. Uh, 100 milligrams of caffeine per bar. Thank you. I've already had enough caffeine, I assure you. All right, it's a nice manual. Wow, this looks very old school. We'll trade for smelling salts. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Some old school manual for uh, tumbling and stuff for gymnastics. That's actually go pretty good on the, uh, on the wall over there with the other books. What do you think, Reese? This looks like a classic, definitely. Yeah, it's copyright 61, 68, yeah. and 76. This thing's older than me. We got something from Ringo from Amazon. This one's from Tyler Woods. He saw a strong man on Instagram using chucks for conditioning the deadlift. His wife asked him, when is Juju gonna get some nunchucks? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. How do you do this? Ah. Ah, God, this is perfect for male time. Thanks, Tyler. Oh, yeah. All right, if the nunchucks don't work, then I need your help, Reese. If you can't kill some of the chucks, you at least kill them with a sword. Whoa, dude, I got a zone. Ow! Ow! Okay.
It's not bleeding. This is sick. This is great. This is gonna go good on that pegboard in the background. This, this is useful. Ah! Hell yeah, I got two swords in the mail time, dude. Whoa, what kind of sword is this, man? What kind of sword is this, Reese? I don't know, that looks crazy. It looks like a double hilt on it. Oh, it does. Oh, it's sick. I got three weapons in mail time today, bro. I got a Zelda sword. Oh, it's got a Seath too. Nunchucks. Yeah! Throw shoes. Sent me some more shoes. Well, dude, they're hiking boots. These are fucking great. Oh, these are the ones I wanted. They weren't out when I asked for them. I was like, during the summertime, I was like, hey guys, I want that one. It's pointing to it in the catalog. I was like, I want these. They're like, no, oh, we don't have them yet. Well, now they do. All right. Dude, I can't ask for anything more. I'm blessed. I got shoes and weapons from friends. Guys, I love you. Thank you for watching us kill ourselves deadlifting. And uh, remember, if you want to recover from deadlifts, just hang upside down to decompress your spine. It'll accelerate the recovery process of adaptation to the workout itself. I'm going to go stab something with these swords now. You hungry? Hell yeah. All right, let's go eat. I feel like everyone eats here with me. Who else is here with you? Everyone. <laughs> One student's word of wisdom. Listen more, talk less. Listen more, talk less? That's, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's the cornbread from the restaurant. I'm eating it now. I did a cornbread teleport. I'm actually doing it. I hate it. Not that I hate the taste, I just it's disgusting. It just grosses me out. It's just the whole thing of drinking all this whole milk. I haven't done it since I was like 20-something. It just makes me feel like I'm going to get cancer. And that's what I'm trying to do by the end of the year is get strong as fuck. And then I got to finish this too. All right, I got, the, I got the crumbs out of my beard now. If you've never tried snatch grip deadlifts with chains, you're probably not missing out on anything, but uh, you can try it. Let me know what you think. Or what's your favorite deadlift variation? Let me know. Is there one that you've never seen me do that would be interesting? Because I think I've tried them all, but I might be wrong. Subscribe to the channel, and since Tom is moving here soon, and we do all these videos together, and he's living somewhere else, things are about to get really cool, because it's gonna be like, a lot of cool projects just happening. We're about to get to work, man. We're about to get to fucking work. And I'm making some gains here, eating all these calories. It's pretty fun. All right, guys. See you soon. Peace.